<laughs> yeah. Wow. This is gonna be awesome. from GME. We're here today at Black Rock Brewery. And Spring Springgate Winery. Let's check out the winery first very quickly before we get anything. Now here you can sit down wherever you would like. Um, scan the QR code for Black Rock. You get some food, you can get some beer. I don't I'm gonna assume maybe this works the same way with wine. Check this out. All the different wines. Crandy, crandy grape sounds amazing. Oh, there's a sweet pumpkin spice. These wine flavors sound phenomenal. We can see, let's go over this way and see what else we can find. Wow, wine slushy, nice. There's a spiced red, a chocolate. I'm kind of in my like happy place right now. I see that they do have wine slushies going. It looks like there's a small tasting. Nobody's here right now. And you can get this current wines by glass. I'm sure that changes, but that is absolutely amazing. Look at that painting back there. It's awesome. Let's go check out the brewery side. There's an assortment of different beers. There's an assortment of different wines, wine slushies, regular slushies. Um, I'm getting a raspberry tea slushie that is alcoholic, I believe. There is non-alcoholic options. There's boiling so sodas, which are sodas in like a glass bottle. They're very cool. Um, and then a bunch of food. So we're gonna try the buffalo chicken pretzel log the chicken bacon ranch pretzel log and the Brussels sprouts. Um, we're looking to see if we want anything else. Just We're going to share them between all of us and see what we all think. Um, and we'll go from there. <laughs> so raspberry tea slushy. Oh, there's a thick slushy. Yeah, this is good. You can taste, I want to say like a raspberry wine into an iced tea, into a slushy. I'm thinking that's what that is. Ooh, I like this. And we got the, oh, it's the Breaker Boy? Yeah. Breaker Boy IPA? Oh, it's an IPA. Take us <laughs> It's actually pretty decent for an IPA. What happened to the whole ethic? It's in, it's in the glass. Oh. It's inside the glass? Yes. You pop it out when you're done. You get a free magnet. It's in there. Like, in there. It's awesome. It's like they just put the glass on top of the thing. And And it is good. I'm not gonna drink it, um, but she likes it. Fancy like, lemonade. It's fancy lemonade. So we got the buffalo chicken ranch pretzel with blue cheese, the chicken bacon ranch pretzel with ranch, and 
the Brussels sprouts with everything bagel seasoning and garlic aioli. We're gonna try them all, all were made fresh and back. We literally watched them roll out the dough and add the filling and the whole nine yards. So it should be amazing. I'm expecting great things. We're gonna let you know what we think. We're gonna start with the Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are awesome. They have a little bit of crunch left to them, which is perfect. The all bagel, all seasoning, bagel seasoning? All, what? The bagel seasoning. Everything bagel seasoning. There we go, I got it. Took me a while. Along with that garlic oli. That is perfect, that's fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah, that's a great one. Um, I'd say it's a shareable, but I would eat that whole thing myself and not share with anybody. Let's try, this is the chicken bacon ranch pretzel. Let's see that in there. Look at that. Look at all that goodness. Like, yeah. That looks good. Okay, first off, those pretzels are awesome. You don't need any filling. Just the pretzel itself would be amazing. With the chicken bacon ranch in there. Oh yeah, that's that's fantastic. It didn't even need the ranch. Um, but yeah, it, you know, um, definitely a winner. These pretzels are so, yeah. The pretzels are well, so well made. So that means to me, buffalo chicken is gonna be like, I'm going to the winner and I'm excited for this one. The buffalo chicken pretzel. See inside there? Oh my. Okay. That's a perfect combo. Hot sauce and chicken in that pretzel. Um, it does come with blue cheese. I didn't use it first. I, know, I usually don't use it. But I think I'm going to try it with blue cheese and see how it is with just that extra added flavor to it. It's great with blue cheese. I like it better with ranch, I think. I like my wings better with ranch, so great pretzel. I actually like the chicken bacon ranch slightly better, but they're both good winners. I mean, they're fantastic. Everything here so far is 100% thumbs up. Um, you can tell how nice and fresh it is and how well made it is, and you can't go wrong. You gotta try this. So again, as you can see, signature pretzel log, $7, all different types, kind, rogi pretzel log, that is insane. Appetizer and snacks are five, there's sandwiches and salads, fried goods, french fry trays, with curry ketchup, it sounds amazing, there's churros, there's definitely a huge selection here to pick from. In the bottom of every glass, because of the way the beer pours, you get a magnet. So we have a superhero one right now. Look at that. That is so cool. And you can collect magnets um, after five. I know right now it's if you redeem five of the summer of beer magnets. You get a free pair of sunglasses, so they do have promotions with that as well. It's just cool. I mean, it's a superhero magnet, guys. That's so cool. So all in all, the food at the Black Rock Brewery and Springgate Vineyard is excellent. Um, it's just shareables. It is just like an appetizer type food. They do have a, I saw like a sandwich and all, but those, that pig food, those pretzels, those pretzels, yeah, they are worth coming out of your way for. The beer was excellent. If you're not a beer drinker, this is the place for you because Springgate, Springgate Vineyard is right next door. So you got slushies, wine, you have cocktails, you have non-alcoholic drinks, and that really great, that sparkling lemonade and that boiling boilin soda. I cannot say that. The craft soda. It's the craft soda now, that's it. Um, but all in all, such a nice place to come. And if you've been here, I'd love to hear about your experiences here. Um, if not, I'd love to hear if you were thinking about coming out here and checking it out, we will 100% be back. Maybe for some of that live music or one of those trivia nights. In the meantime, though, until we eat again, I didn't think we were done, did you? We did pick up this 
a CDR wine cocktail from Spring Gate Vineyard. It is a sweet pumpkin spice wine. It's an apple wine with pumpkiny, cinnamony flavors. It tells you what on the back. I love this, like, it shows you whether it would be dry, semi dry, semi sweet, or sweet. This is a sweet wine. It is a sweet wine. Um, but we did get this. We also got two cans to make wine slushies for this weekend. Let's give this a try and I'll tell you what it's like. It's peaceful. Let's give this a try. See how it is. Obviously, we really tried it already. Look at the color. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's more like a cider, in my opinion. And it tastes exactly like a cider. It is an apple wine. Um, you can taste that apple. You can taste pumpkin. You can taste cinnamon. It is fall in a glass. So I get it. It's July. And I shouldn't be drinking, drinking fall-inspired wines. But you can't go wrong with pumpkin anything, in my opinion. Don't at me if you don't like pumpkin. Um, you can't go wrong with ciders. They're just as good. Um, so pumpkin cider, pumpkin wine it's good so this is a hundred percent something that I would get again um, especially once it cools off this would be great around a bonfire um, or just on a fall night to sit like out back like I'm doing right now in summer being hot um, it is it's a wonderful wine we uh, are going to try those wine slushies this weekend we have a car cruise coming up um, it is a, it was it's a can it's like it looks like a can of soda, but it's wine. I have an orange mango, or is it peach mango? A something mango, and I have a rose. You add ice and the entire contents of the can and make a slushy. So, we're gonna try those this weekend. I will update you guys on how that works out. Hopefully, it is amazing. Uh, that raspberry iced tea slushy with the raspberry wine in it was pretty, pretty top notch. So, I'm hoping for wonderful with these as well and until next time again stay geeky guys